Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, after a harrowing landing in Knoxville, I came back to um, Tri Cities, Runway 23. So we go in and we tell it where we want. We want uh, parking one set as departure for the Tyson McGee Knoxville. That is our landing. Then we go over here, we say we want, uh, we could do probably low altitude, no, let's go high altitude, because we are going to 18,000 feet, but we could do low altitude from that one. But anyway, um, 18,000 feet, then I change this, 18, delete, delete, enter, okay, that's our flight plan. Hit close, and it says runway 5, Kings. On five that is not what we want so we go back you can see it's taking us off on runway five um, we don't want runway, we want runway 23 but now we have to go back and tell it we want parking area one set this departure now it's runway 23 Kings 23 uh, arrival approach was automatic that the, oh it gives us two I was, I thought I did localizer 3. I thought I did localizer 23, which should take us right in on a 23 degree heading, and that should have been my approach, and it should have all been programmed in. But I think what happened is that didn't stay. So we're just going to do it again. <clears throat> but that is, that's what it should have been, you know, 13 minutes in the air, 13, you know, f uh, cruise, 13, 13 minutes, 87 miles from there to there, especially if you're just moving an airplane from here to there. But that's how I do it, and, and, and it should, and it should fly it the whole way and now occasionally it will miss the approach because either I'm going too fast or I'm too high I didn't get down quick enough we'll load this up and see if it's in the programming we'll see if it's programmed into the Sharklet. Uh, I think I can fly that plane. I think that plane is available. Yep. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this is this is how it is. So, here is our flight computer. So we're going to turn the battery on. Ground N one AB one one two tree IFR to Knoxville. Ready to copy. She did it again. N one AB one one two tree is cleared to Knoxville Airport. Is filed. Take off runway 2 tree climb and maintain 6,000 feet. Departure frequency is 1 tree 4 decimal for 25 squawk 2514. 2514. N1AB112 tree cleared to Knoxville Airport as filed. Take off runway 2 tree climb and maintain 6,000 6, feet. feet. Departure on 1 tree 4 decimal 4 25 squawk 2514. N1AB112 tree readback is correct. Contact ground on one two one decimal seven when ready to taxi. Good day. Okay, now we're going to check the Parametric pressure should be 1520. Oh, our thing is ready. It's available, bleed. Fuel. Oh. It's one spooling up. Parametric pressure. 
We can set this to 1520. I think it's 1520. So the barometric pressure must be around 30.04, but let's listen to the ATIS. Oh, we've lost radio. Damn it. In heavy rain. Sky conditions. Few clouds at 1,900 feet. The ceiling is 4,900 feet overcast. Temperatures 22, dew points 10. Altimeter is 30.05. ILS runway 23 in use. Landing and departing runway 23. VFR say direction of flight. She said it was 25. All aircraft read back the hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have. Quebec. Okay, so that engine is up. She's going to say it again. Let's get engine one running. Uh, here is our. We're just going to go right up here and turn and take off. Three zero zero five speed. It oh yeah should be in the computer. So let's take a look at the computer. Flight plan. So hopefully um, a Rocky Top is yeah Rocky Top is the ILS. I have to do anything that's that, that's something I haven't done yet is ILS in the a320 will it appear here where does it tell me I want to do ILS approaches uh, here's the approach what is LS is that landing system I have no idea kind of dark in here we could turn some lights on huh uh, lights lights who's got the lights they're down here that's the pedestal lights and so that was I guess Okay, both engines are running. Back. We can turn off the bleed. Shit, I think I just killed both engines. Leave the bleed on and turn off. What do I turn off? External power. No faults, everything's good. Blah, blah, blah. Seatbelt on. And lights are on, beacon is on. Yeah, we're good. We're ready for pushback. I want my nose to go to the right, so I want him to steer to the left. There's a plane over here. We don't want to hit it. So, let's go ground services. Pushback. Ground N one AB one one two tree requesting pushback. N one AB one one two tree pushback request accepted. I think I'm letting her do everything now so that so we don't miss a radio call. Hopefully this will work, but uh, it's programmed in. Rocky Top is. Uh, break off. Break is off. We'll get him to steer us to the left once he pushes us back. So, ground N 
one a b one one two tree requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left and one a b one one two tree your request has been transmitted to the operator ground n one a b one one two tree requesting the end of pushback n one a b one one two tree request to end pushback received I don't think I told her to do that. Ground N one A B one one two tree with Quebec ready to taxi IFR. Yeah, she's doing it all. N one A B one one two tree taxi two and hold short of runway two tree via taxiway Echo Bravo. Contact tower on one one nine or decimal five when ready. Taxi hold short runway two tree via taxiway Echo Bravo and one A B one one two tree. <coughs> Yeah, so she's handling radios, so. So we know we're going to be in the clouds. Maybe it won't be raining at Knoxville. But I don't know. She'll get clearance to take off once we get up here. I think I've got everything. We're going to go one flap. There's an airplane on the runway. Check this out. Check this out. He's hovering. That's that just started. I noticed that last night down at Atlanta. When I took off from Atlanta last night going to Raleigh Durham. Well, we're cleared for takeoff, so we're going. She's talking, I'm flying. <clears throat> Let's go. That plane's just gonna have to. Holy cow. Engage. 
one tree four decimal four two five and one a b one one two tree departure and one a b one one two tree is at two thousand eight hundred feet climbing six thousand feet and one a b one one two tree departure altimeter tree zero decimal zero five continue as planned So, I don't know how to get a look at, I'm pretty confident our approach is on here. There is Rocky Top right there. <clears throat> the ILS didn't appear because I didn't have it programmed the last time. So I'm not doing anything, plane's flying itself, we are in rain in the clouds three four thousand feet climbing to six thousand feet which they'll give us clearance to go a little higher seat belts are on be able to make this drop down. In one AB one one two tree climb and maintain sixteen thousand feet. Climb and maintain sixteen thousand feet and one AB one one two tree. Climb, climb. There it goes. Okay, <clears throat> so now as soon as we get up, <clears throat> I thought I asked for eighteen thousand, but I may have asked for sixteen. We're all good. Can't see nothing now. She can't see nothing. It's only a 20 minute flight, like I said. <clears throat> N1 AB 112 tree contact Atlanta Center on 127 decimal 85. Good day. She's doing all of that. So. 127 decimal 85 N1 AB 112 tree. Takes a load off of the pilot, Delta me. <laughs> Atlanta Center and 1AB112 tree is at 10,000 feet, climbing 16,000 feet. 10,000 to 16,000. Beachcraft 9 or 4 Zulu, you are 300 feet below your assigned altitude. Climb and maintain 10,000 feet altimeter, tree zero decimal zero tree. N1AB112 tree Atlanta Center altimeter tree zero decimal zero tree continue as planned. 128 decimal zero five for Cessna for Niner uniform. Alpha Bravo 1123. Passing 12,000. feet Beechcraft Niner for Zulu. We're going to come out of it, I bet. I see 14,000. Hopefully she'll tell us to go on up to 18. I can't remember if I...
fifteen five. Talk to me. Let me go on up to eighteen and get out of this rain. Oh, there's no rain anymore. No rain, no rain. Climb and maintain flight level 180. There we go. 180. Go for Climb it. Climb and maintain flight level 180 and 1AB1123. Hopefully 18,000 feet will get us out of the clouds. <clears throat> Descend and maintain. Descend and maintain six thousand feet and one AB one one two tree. And I think I can set it. <clears throat> go 1200 feet per I did that wrong This throttle idle. <clears throat> it's auto throttle, but take off, go around, flight. Not sure if I do this. I think it's set to auto throttle. I can tell it the speed. Okay, so let's slow back down to. 200 miles an hour. Again, I think I did that wrong. She's not dropping, so we go to two. And then we push up on the switch or down on the switch. N1 AB1123, you are 4 3 miles northeast. Descend and maintain 3,500 feet. Expect localizer runway 2 3 left approach via Goodle transition. Clear to GODL. Descend and maintain 3,500 feet. Expect localizer runway 2 tree left approach by a Goodle transition. Clear to Goodle and 1AB 112 tree. Okay, I think it's trying to slow down, but I'm going to help it with. Yeah, boy, she really throws that down there. Let's not do that. Let's do one at a time. I want to slow down to 203 miles an hour. Coming into this will be our deceleration. Rocky top. Then the ILS should come up. We're about 205. Speed craft 52 Yankee have the Cessna Skyhawk in sight. We're in rain again. I get uh, achievements for being in rain as well, so 
the more time that you're in rain. And I think I hit the approach. But that's what I did the last time when we were at 3,000 feet and it took us down to 1,000 feet because I think the airport's at 950 feet. So because I didn't have the ILS on, and how do you turn on the ILS? How do you turn on ILS? How do I make sure I'm getting runway 23 left? See, it's in there. It is in there. Rocky Top, 2,800 at or above. So I got to be... AB, one, one, two, three, contact. Knoxville approach on one, two, five, decimal five, two, five. Good day. So I got to be down to 3,000 feet before I get to Rocky Going Top. Going to one, two, five, decimal five, two, five, and one, AB, one, one, two, three. At 2800 feet. Approach and 1AB1123 is passing 8,500 feet, descending 3,500 feet. N1AB1123, Knoxville Approach Altimeter 30.02, continue to RQYTP as planned. 3002, consider to RKYTP, Rocky Top. <clears throat> Rocky Top. 30 miles away. We're at 7,000 feet. Two hundred and three knot. Ground speed's quicker than that. Okay, speed. Why are you going to 6,000? You're going to 6,000 because I want you to go to 3,000. Going to 3,000. Okay, so no dot, no dot. See, here's a dot. That's why it's keeping its heading. The computer is doing it based on that. My speed is, and this, no dot, is based on what I'm doing or what I want, not what the computer says. Throttle set to idle. They want us at 3,000. By the time we get to Rocky Top, we have to be at 28. Which won't be a problem. It will be a problem, because I can't adjust. <clears throat> I can't make this go to hundreds. It's only in thousands. <clears throat> so I have to stop at 3,000. Or hand fly it. How do I get, how, how do I get a uh, GPS? 2,500. 2,500. Okay, we're coming into 3,000, which is 1,800 feet off of the ground, people. <clears throat> Shouldn't be a... I hit approach. N1AB1123, you are 400 feet below your assigned altitude. Climb and maintain 3,500 feet altimeter 30.02. Yeah, we're not climbing. Climb and maintain 3,500 feet and 1AB1123. Because I can't do that. <clears throat> okay. We should start our turn here.
I could trick it into thinking with the altimeter. <clears throat> We're turning. We're turning, we're turning. We're 2,000 feet off the ground. <clears throat> N1AB1123, please expedite your climb 3,500 feet. Yeah, I'm not going because the plane has its limitations. Okay, we're 15 miles out. There we go. What happens if I hit approach? I'm gonna wait till it stabilizes on 23. Localizer. Speeds in auto throttle. N1 AB1123, please expedite your climb 3,500 feet. Oh. Landing, landing. You just. Cessna November 2081, Bravo, 2,900 feet. Just let me talk to the airport. Cessna November 2081, Bravo, Knoxville approach altimeter 30.03, continue as planned. We have a little spoiler on. Let's go with one flap. We are 10 miles out. I'm throwing the gear. Cessna 81 Bravo contact Atlanta Center on 133.6. Since we're localized, alter and glide slope. Yeah, we're not going to 3,500 feet. <clears throat> we're in rain. What is this button? Flight director. Yeah, it's our flight director. Yeah, there's our ILS. There's our ILS. I could hand fly this bitch. Well, no, I can't. Where is the glide slope? <clears throat> N1AB 1123, you are 9 miles northeast of Knoxville. Contact Knoxville Tower on 121.2 when inbound on the approach. Tower on 121.2 and 1AB 1123. Knoxville Tower and 1AB 1123 8 miles northeast inbound localizer runway 2 tree left approach. No decision high. Glide slope. Oh. 1AB 1123 <clears throat> Knoxville Tower. Altimeter tree 0.03 zero zero wind calm cleared localizer runway 2 tree left approach. In 1AB 1123 wind calm cleared to land runway 2 tree left. Oh, I got eyes. Clear localizer runway 2 tree left approach and 1AB 1123. One more flap. And we're going to slow to 180. <coughs> Excuse me. And I could probably take it from here. But I will momentarily. I'll have to do a couple of things with two different hands, but... <laughs> uh, we've got... Gear down. Landing lights are on. Seatbelt lights are on. I think I saw an airplane in front of us, unless he's just sitting there on the runway. Hopefully he's just sitting there. Oh shit, I pushed the wrong button. Okay, and we'll take it off of autopilot and fly it in ourselves, maybe. 500.
400, 300, 200. Got a pilot. One hundred, sixty, fifty, forty, spoilers, twenty, retire. Yeah, and reversers. I know that's a hard landing, but I just I can't get it any smoother with moving my hands. Break. Retards are off. That's a little bit better this time. Contact ground on one two go, woman. You're supposed to be contacting for me. Can't do everything with one hand. <clears throat> one two one decimal niner for N one A B one one two tree. So we're just going to go up here and taxi ourselves. So we did another one. This computer finally had the approach in it. Last one didn't. I had to hand fly it down. Spooky situation. But this one was a little bit better. I did not get, uh, I did not see my glide slope here, but that's it right there. I was looking for a dot on the side or a diamond on the side, but I know it's the green line across. I just have to do this flight again and again and again and again. And again, stay seated with your seatbelt on while the plane is taxiing. And even when it stops, don't, don't get out until the light comes off. He could just be having to stop for another plane on the runway. So. See my gate. I don't see my guy, but he's up here somewhere. He's stuck inside that building. I'm pretty confident. And we'll shut her down. Parking brakes on. Flaps, spoilers. That should end the mission. Should end the mission. What did I do wrong? Batteries. Oh crap. Avionics. Something is amiss, but uh, I am going to end it here. So I hope you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.
see what that uh, how long that flight took us hard landing but at least it was straight down the runway uh, profile logbook so we did two flights today of 21 and that was, first one took 26 minutes this one took 21 minutes uh, I think because I descended quicker uh, this one was just to abort a takeoff just to see what happens and then these two and that's it that's all I've I've had two pretty decent flights both of these were one was night one was day I think yeah one day one night and then these two so four times here but I flew one last year 2020 anyway I hope you liked the video leave a like comment subscribe for more and here is my night owl and accumulate 50 hours night owl 96 percent so we'll get that done tonight hour and a half flight maybe out to not Nashville or somewhere and then an instrument flight uh, that's her telling me what you know what altitude to be at uh, them telling me where it went to turn that's IFR thanks for watching